Hello everyone, uh, something new and exciting, at least for me. Um, it's 6 a.m. in the morning and I'm heading for a new adventure. Instead of the regular build videos, uh, I'm starting to transition to living in the van. Because of circumstances, I uh, cannot do the permanent van life yet. So what I decided to do is, over the coming months, uh, make several trips uh, through the southeast of uh, the US. This time I'll be heading to the Panhandle of Florida. It's about 90 minutes later and I'm at uh, <laughs> Joey is uh, pulling the leash. It's, uh, I'm in uh, Felburn Park now, near the Cross uh, Florida Barge Canal, at least the former. It's uh, been transformed into a large park area across Florida. This is, uh, I'm here on the western end. Uh, and this uh, runs all the way through to St. John's River, which is close to Jacksonville. The idea of a uh, canal in northern uh, Florida, I think already started in the uh, 1900s or so. Um, and it was meant just to shorten the, the uh, travel for shipping from the Atlantic to uh, the Gulf of Mexico. But this specific location is uh, the area of a former mine and that mine at a certain point hit the water table and so they started uh, pumping out the water but when they finished the mine they just uh, let the water go and that filled up the mine so there should be a nice lake here you can see here there's a boat over there, and that is uh, the connection to the canal. So you're looking at the canal now. And then on this side, if Joey allows me to, you got that uh, former mine, which is a nice lake area. But uh, with regard to my plans, when I start living in my van, hiking will be a big part of that. Joey uh, is smelling all these new smells. Come on, Joey, heel. But um, today uh, I got a lot of places to visit. So I don't know whether I, I'll make that uh, but we'll see uh, how many I can, uh, can have a look at. Um, right now, I still want to have a quick look at the lock that's nearby. And then there's a trail that goes about five miles to the coast. And I think that that's a real nice representation of how what I call old Florida looks like. We're at the lock now. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> Joey wants to walk about the grid, on the grid. But he's, uh, he's clever. Uh, even stay, Joey, even stay. Uh, you can see this is uh, the lock, and in the distance you can see the canal. And this goes uh, to the coast. And this uh, goes to Lake Rousseau. And then it continues to all the way to Jacksonville, more or less. But this uh, lock has been uh, closed since 1999.
I couldn't go any further with the van. So now I'm taking a short trail. It hopefully leads to a nice view. This is the end of the canal where it enters the Gulf of Mexico. If you want to know the entire story about the Florida Barge Canal, you can pause the video here. We're about uh, 30 miles north of where I was, and you can see in the middle of nowhere. We're in Rosewood, Florida. There's still some flowers here as well. But this is um, the place that burned down uh, in the 1920s, tw 1923. And it was a predominantly uh, black community. Uh, and this uh, used to be the uh, local general store. That was the only building that survived everything. Uh, but that was the general store of a white owner. But the story is that uh, a white woman in a neighboring village was beaten by a black person. Uh, so they wanted to take revenge and so on. And uh, and that was in the time of uh, Jim Crow and all the segregation that was going on. Uh, and in the end, uh, it was uh, it was another white white person that did it. But all the people vanished because there was uh, nothing left. Uh, but the whole story was was never documented. And uh, only in in the 1990s there were some reparations done to I think nine remaining family members. And a couple of years ago, they even made a movie about it. It is something to remember. I'm here now at the local cemetery, only a few miles uh, away from Rosewood. But the story uh, still continued uh, until quite recently. Store owner, the white store owner, who saved so many people, uh, apparently never got a gravestone. And he was buried here. The store owner, a man called John uh, Wright, they put in a, a fundraiser just a couple of years ago. He got a uh, new headstone uh, quite recently. So the story continues. Cedar Key, and that's uh, where I am uh, right now, um, was a pretty big uh, railroad town and harbor, at least for, for its time, uh, which had a direct connection with uh, Fernandino Beach, which, which is close to Jacksonville. However, uh, by 1930 or so, it all... Uh, went downhill, uh, Tampa was a better port to uh, focus on for the railways. And uh, this railway was uh, abandoned. It's really nice walking under this canopy, even in summer.
And this is the end of the trail. And there it continues to the other side. And that's very close to Siriki itself. I hope that the sound is not too bad because there's a lot of wind. This is a Shell Mount and it's just a couple of miles north of Sridaki. And it's just a lovely location. Incredible. And everything is accessible, only a few people, so it's quiet. And this is an area where Native Americans have piled and piled uh, seashells and all that kind of stuff uh, for about 1500 years or so. And it's a short loop, but it's interesting. The shell mound is, is really huge. I didn't think it was this big. And you can see all the shells here on the floor. And supposedly, that must be an incredible amount of shells. So they must have been here for quite a long time. Oh, before I go, please pay attention to these uh, missing children. If you have any information, please call the appropriate number. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.